The prison at Arbor Hill was originally built in the 1840s as a military prison and in the immediate aftermath of the Rising it was one of a number of locations used as a detention centre for Republican prisoners, including Patrick Pierce, who was imprisoned in a cell there. Another prisoner detained there was Sean Houston, who actually met a work colleague of his there, Jack Mount, but Mount, instead of joining the Irish Volunteers, had instead joined the Royal Dublin Fusiliers. Now Mount was relatively friendly with Houston and apparently um, offered to let him escape, but was overruled by his colleagues, who threatened to arrest Mount himself if he did this, because members of the Dublin Fusiliers blamed Houston and his colleagues for the death of their own colleagues. Rumours abounded amongst prisoners in detention that a large pit was being dug at Ar Arbor Hill and was going to be filled with dead bodies. Now there was a grain of truth in this because of the 14 prisoners executed in Dublin they were buried uh, in quicklime in a pit in Arbor Hill within the actual prison exercise yard. Uh, General Maxwell as military governor apparently refused a request by uh, the mother of Patrick and Willie Pierce for the return of their bodies on the grounds that as he put it Irish sentimentality were turned their graves into martyr shrines. The British military issued precise instructions as to how the bodies should be buried, even down to specifying what gate the ambulance carrying the bodies should enter. That's how we know which body is where. They kept a record of it. Now, in contrast to the attitude displayed by General Maxwell, a Captain Orvie Stanley of the Royal Army Medical Corps, who oversaw the burials of Clark, McDermott and Plunkett, um, was singled out for his courtesy and consideration to the families, and indeed to the prisoners, by James Connolly himself, by the Connolly family, and by some of the priests who officiated with the prisoners um, prior to their executions. The current configuration of Arbor Hill was laid out in 1956, and it involves a long rectangular burial plot where the bodies are contained, and a large limestone wall on which are inscribed the words of the 1916 proclamation in both Irish and English. 